Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. So, as you know, what's in this box? Um, I've had it sitting here for a while. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, link will be down below in the description. I got this from Amazon. And so these are pretty inexpensive, but the reviews were really good, right? So I'm like, hey, why not give it a try? So why not give it a try? They come in black. My bike is black. It's right there under cover because it gets dusty around here in the summertime. But I had a couple moments today. It's the 4th of July, long weekend, Independence Day. And I figured I better check these out. So I'm probably past the return date if there's some damage in shipping. So here's how they come packaged. Uh, let me get them out of here and then uh, a little bit of hardware here, pretty basic stuff. Let me get them out of here and then I'll show you what we got. All right, there's everything that's in the box. Um, they look pretty nice. Um, I, don't, I don't know, hard to really say till they're actually installed right um and notice no instructions they look pretty easy but man the finish on these is really nice i got them all dusty laying them on the ground here but they're very shiny <sighs> um nice black color um i think they're going to be fantastic for what i need um on my bike so the price was right let's get to installing it the only thing i noticed on this one is there's one little Oh, and it wipes off. So I don't know if I did it or not. So never mind. They came perfect. So uh, let me get my bike uncovered and uh, we'll get to figuring out how to install these babies. Okay, so the first step to getting these mounted on your bike is these little glove box things. You got to pop these covers off. These little snaps just kind of hold it in place. Get that out of the way. And then you see in there, there's the two... 10 millimeter bolts, you'll take those loose and then this front section will pop off and that's what's gonna go around your engine crash bar. Um, then after that, you got these clamps here, which are gonna go around the bottom of the engine cr uh, crash bar. Just one of them per side, and obviously there's only two. And wow, are they stuck in there. Um, so they're gonna go around with the flat portion going towards the bottom of the unit here right so they're gonna go kind of like something like this so that'll be more evident once we get it on the machine but um, let me get this apart and we'll start test fitting uh, mine does have uh, let me see if I can tilt you guys up here mine does have the highway peg so I'm not sure if it's gonna clear those yet uh, we'll find out here shortly Okay, there it went. All oh, these little clips, little clips fell off. We're gonna have to figure out a better way to get those to stay on there, because uh, that's gonna be impossible. <laughs> because that's gonna be impossible when you can't reach and hold them in place. I think all you're gonna have to do is just pinch them down a little bit and then stick them back on there. Oh yeah, there you go. All right, so here it is in place on the uh, right side. This will bolt in there and kind of hold the top, and then you gotta have your clevis clamp on the bottom. Now, the bottom one looks like it'll go on this way back down here. Now, I just wanna note, I've been fishing with this thing for a little bit, and I thought I was gonna have to cut the heck out of it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. The tricky part was the way it fits around the brake booster there you kind of got to it's I don't know how to explain it sure it comes out easy but it did not go in easy all right I don't know why I struggled but now it goes in and out but whatever um, I was having troubles being on one side of this then one side of this it's got to just kind of fit in the right spot it might take a little fiddling for you guys to get it there um, but it will go apparently, clearly. So this clamp here has to go on here like such, right? I'm not sure how you get those bolt holes to line up because they are not even close. 
but and that's going to go through the hole in the bottom there somehow maybe that's all it needs it's just it pinches it in there there's a few let me take you out of the phone holder here my ub size full holder so this deal here i guess maybe just pinches in there because there's no way you're getting a bolt through both those holes all right, so I did reshape this a little bit. This top one here, I reshaped. This is how it came. You can see how there's no way you can get both, remember from before, no way you can get both um, holes to line up. So this one I can now. So what I kind of basically did was straightened out this section and curved, bent this one, basically moved this bend closer to the hole and that made it pinch together better, right? So. Now that'll work out fine. Um, this blue stuff, this is some crappy old Walmart yoga mat I had. The, um, I don't know if there's different bar sizes. I went back and looked at the reviews and a lot of people said that it fit fine. But um, for my 06 or 05, gosh, now you got thinking about too many numbers. Um, but anyways, my Electra here, it didn't fit snug. So basically all you gotta do is get something in here just to make it thicker right so this will clamp down so I grab some old yoga mat it's pretty thin stuff um, you can go to the dollar store probably find something thick enough in there or you could probably just wrap enough tape around your bars to take up the void but anyways that's all I'm gonna need to make this sucker fit right um, the one only other thing I noticed with the test fit is the bottom hole on these is quite large um, there's a washer at, here's the washer. So the washer they send you is this guy. And it kind of fits, but it can also fit right through that hole. So I don't know, I'm tempted to get a little bit bigger washer. I'll try to fit it one more time with this washer and let you know how it goes. But uh, let's see if we can fit this baby on here one more time. So this piece of the fairing here goes in between like the brake line bolt and the master cylinder that's the key to that one then you just kind of squinch it or squish it around until it gets into place and that'll be in there and when that is on you will never see it once it's in the right spot see so it'll clamp on there and it's gone i might adjust it just a little bit more that way so you can't see it from the end because it just has to hit those pads in here to be good to go. Just like so. Now we can start putting bolts in. If you drop them, they'll shoot out the bottom. So just something to note there. Then I can get this on there and tighten them up the rest of the way. You will notice I did have to remove my... Uh, Highway pegs, well, I probably didn't have to. I did just for ease of assembly. I've never used them. I don't know, for me, you know, different strokes for different folks. Um, having my feet way out there wasn't wasn't my thing. I prefer having them on the bars, so. Your mileage may vary. So now that that's on, get this wiggled around to, looks like about, oh yeah, this is gonna work awesome. So see the bolts and they come up through the bottom there and then those ones are in there they're just kind of snug they're not totally done until we final fit it but I'm really liking how this is looking so far uh, one thing I didn't mention so far is down here is a vent you can adjust to for how much airflow you want or don't want right pretty cool I think these are gonna block enough airflow for me um, of course, you'll get the cool little cubbies here. I think it'd be a really nice thing. Shove your wallet in there, your keys or whatever. See, mine's a stripper model, so it doesn't have the radio. But yeah, I think if you if you put things in there, it'll vibrate out. Um, you know, of course, you got your hard bags on the back too. But just kind of quick, easy. I guess if you guys are into ciggies and smoking, you can throw your goodies in there as well. But anyway, let me get this tightened down, and uh, we'll see how it looks. I'll double check some other pictures to make sure I have it on there, right? But I think that's the point. It's going to keep the uh, wind off my knees, or especially like the dew. I ride this to work in the morning, right? Still lots of space to hit your brake. Yeah, 
Very cool. Easy to reach down here and hit that little flipper. I'll probably just leave it open all the way except for in winter time. But um, it may, looks like it would direct more air over your motor if you wanted more cooling. So anyway, it's pretty cool. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, I got the top on, the bottom. I'm gonna put the bolt head down through the top. I had a couple of little bit bigger washers in my toolbox. Um, the heads are just too small. They fall right through that hole. But this is gonna look way better. Okay, one tip for you guys, take the nut and just screw it on and back off. It'll kind of free it up a little bit, make it go a little easier. Okay, now I'm going to put that bolt in from the top and install this side. All right, she's all snugged down. She's in place. They look pretty even to me. Got those bolts tight in there. Um, the one down here ended up stripping the bolt, so I ended up just using a standard nut bolt and a lock nut, which I had in my toolbox. So that's down and snug. So that's it. The other side here... I'm going to try to either turn around or uh, do the same as the other side if I have another nut and bolt like that. But other than that, now we just got to clip on the little, um, what would you call it here, the, <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd call these things here, little covers. We'll see how long they last. These little buttons in here are plastic. Kind of, well, I've got it on the wrong side. My bad. So we'll see how long those last. I mean, I'm sure you could probably just get something else. This is probably the worst part of the whole thing is these, these dorky things and the plastic buttons. We'll see how long that lasts. For me, I didn't really figure I'd be opening these too much, but I'm sure you could probably buy a metal snaps and put them on there and still be way ahead of what a expensive name brand one of those things is, but they're there on. Cool. All right, well, next thing to do, I guess, would be to get her outside and go for a rip so yeah you can see so as you're going along you can reach down here and open and close your little vents and get the airflow you want as well so like comment subscribe follow the links down below in the description let me know what you think let me know if you got some of these and let me know what you do different thanks for stopping by